Magic Chronicles. Let's go. And I have no idea where I am or what I'm supposed to do now. I think the last thing we did was enter this village and we are supposed to go into the mines and explore the mines here. Beast God Drasray. Yeah, Drasray is pretty good. Drasray is pretty good at making games. Although, oh darn it, Drasray did send me a message saying that he had patched this game and he had updated the next dungeon and I was supposed to download the patch for this game but I have not yet so this is the unpatched game version so there could be some kind of bugs or something here um, that could cause us some trouble excuse me but we all have to wait and see hopefully not, too, hopefully not game crashing trouble Still makes me face palm. There's a race of cat people. There's a race of cat people. Where? Wait, where are these mines I'm supposed to go into? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Go in the mines. It's been a long time since I played this game, so I might have forgotten exactly what I'm supposed to do. Let's see if we can find out. Let's exit the town and see if the mines are in a separate area. Perhaps they're in a separate area on the world map that we have to go into. Only title screen of this game is good. Elf. She has a tail. Oh, here we go. Look, here's the mines. And she's got a cool little boat as well. This boat is pretty awesome. Look at that. Sailing. Sailing all around. Love it. It's too good. So let's just save here before we enter these mines. Oh yeah, this is the game with the cat lady. Forgot totally about this game. This is the game with the cat lady with the cat ears. Um, Naomi, the cat lady. Uh, she's from an anime. Forgot all about that. She cat. Right, so let's do how to play this game again. I think we do cleave, don't we? Because that's all enemies. He's kind of hurt, Corin. Um, let's heal him up. And I think we want to do... Oh yeah, this is the game. This is the game that has a really, like, 1 MP costing arcane bolt, which is so crazy. Uh, it's like, quite powerful as well. And it's so cheap to use. And he's got cleave as well, but let's try and do... Battle Roar. Get some more TP for a strong attack and stronger attack. And I think I want to do... Holy fire, all enemies. We are back to this game, Trivel. Yes, we are indeed Trivel because, unfortunately, Trivel, um, I got a game over in the other game, the surreal game, because I came across a boss or something, or maybe not a boss, but just like a random enemy that was doing a lot of damage to me, and I must have skipped a lot of random battles. I think I must have skipped a lot of uh, uh, random encounters because I was taking way too much damage. So unfortunately, that game um, kind of got ended. But it was also kind of because the game was too strange for me and there wasn't anything else going on in Trivial, so um, it, really wasn't, uh, it really wasn't that much fun for me. So it's probably not a bad thing that we are uh, back to normal. Back to normal games. Please don't post downloads. Yeah, it's okay to post downloads, so it's okay. Without warning, he's allowed to. Am I gassed? No, wow, Raiden Aaron. Why are you so mean, huh, Aaron? Why are you so mean? Yeah, it's okay to post. It's okay to post um, links and stuff. I don't mind. I don't mind. I probably won't click on them, but I don't mind. He said no porn before. It's <laughs> a bit off. Have a. So how's your game going, Squirrel? How's your the plague game going? Is that what you're focusing on now instead of um, Valenfeld Chronicles? Ignite ignites the enemy and does damage over time. Nah, let's go for Arcane Bolt. Let's go for Arcane Bolt. 
need to do that one. Uh, let's do stronger attack. This guy. Do I need to heal anyone? I should heal him. Daryl. It's just the fonts. Hey Dan. Hey man. Um, it's just the fonts you need for the other game. That's true, Aaron. It's just the font that I need for that, um, what you call it, Harbingers of War game. So I think it's called the VL Gothic font that I need to download or install or something, 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 something. Because it definitely wasn't registering in my computer on my PC. So I came into a wall of porn. <laughs> yeah, Dan, you did. You came into a porn chat. Um, we have had quite an interesting journey so far, Dan. Um, you probably came in at the right time, Dan, because we're just getting out of a very uh, acid kind of LSD. Like, my brain was frying in some sort of oil. It was just a very strange game, Dan. It's just a very, very strange game. And we are back to normal games now, which is kind of a good thing. Like, it's not a good thing because I really wanted that game to be like an awesome game that was surreal and effective and like had some kind of uh, meaning to it that was powerful but it just wasn't powerful in terms of its storyline or in terms of like why was the game, why did the game have all these strange images, what was the reason for it, what was the kind of the creative, um, what were you trying to say, what were you trying to convey there was like no conveyance, it was just all very random and all over the place and stuff, so it was kind of not a success for that game, I've got to be honest. Yay. Who needs homework? Nobody needs homework. <laughs> Can you post porn? Digi's like, yes, give me that porn, I need all the porn. I'm a gigolo, I need the porn my research into how to satisfy my clients. I need to see all the best techniques for stooping the ladies. Cliffside. Is this the mines? Is this where the mines are? Oh yeah, here we go, look. Enter the mines. Gamoa cave. Gamoa, Gamoa, Gamoa for cave. Gamoa for cave. Excuse me. Scale Tawny. It's the same kind of lighting effects as Cardiophobia. Same kind of lighting effects. Shadow effects, whatever. It's in here. Door, I think. Ooh. It's so dark. It's so dark, I'm scared. Skeleton. Rocks and stuff. This lighting, yo, I like a lantern. Items, weapons, key items. Lantern. A lantern given to you by Wyndham. Wyndham. Basically Wyndham Pierce. Based cars lighting. Delete that if delete that if you were joking. <laughs> oh no. It's a script. Hey, it's Magic Chronicles. Oh, I see how it is, Draft Free. I see how it is. When I'm not playing Magic Chronicles, don't come in the stream. And then when I do play Magic Chronicles, come in the stream. What an egotistical guy, huh? Only joking, only joking. You probably chose the right time, Dross. You probably dodged a bullet there, Dross, because we were struggling before this game. This game is our savior. This game saves us from hell. Nah, it ain't Dross, it's Porno Chronicles. <laughs> chibi. Dirty Chibi. Dirty Chibi. So do I need to equip this lantern? on my accessory slot or something. Is that how that works? By the way, Drasri, I didn't have time to download the patched version of this game, so I am playing the unpatched version of this game. I hope you don't mind, and I hope it's not too much of a serious like issue in terms of the programming and stuff, um, because um, my other game I was gonna play today called Harbingers of Woe uh, didn't work because of a font, a font was missing. So I had to play this game as my backup game because Drafty, this game is my official backup game for my stream. If all my other RPG Maker games fail, then this is my backup game. So that's why I'm playing it again. So I wonder how I use my lantern. Items, key items, lantern. Use it. Use it 
right now, baby. Use it. Hmm. Well, you won't be able to finish this dungeon. Oh, really? Oh, that's a bummer. Draft rate's that big of a problem. It's that big of a problem. So I'm gonna remove his tool. <laughs> what tools? What tools, Dan? Okay, my guest. See you later. See you in a minute. Hurry back, my guest. You know I miss you. I miss you when you're not here. So bad. Angelo Sonata. Welcome, Angelo. How's it going, man? Corn's a real G. No MP, no magic. Hey, Cracked. Everyone comes in for Magic Chronicles. Magic Chronicles brings in the viewers. Huh, Drastri? Must feel pretty good for you. <laughs> By the way, Drastri, I watched your archive uh, of last night because, you know, when you stream at 10 p.m. for you, it's 4 a.m. for me, so it's a big, huge time difference. Um, so I watched your archive yesterday, or like this morning for me, of your playthrough yesterday <laughs> of uh, Kayako's game, Corruption of Letitia, and uh, it was really interesting. I'm glad you enjoyed that game. I enjoyed it too. That was a really impressive game. Kiako put a lot of work into that game and it was really um, quite a good game. But what I did notice, Rastray, was that your sound was stuttering in your stream. Like it was cutting out like every couple of seconds for like a brief, brief millisecond. Your sound would like stop and start. Um, so maybe you should watch your own archive and just check out why that was because your sound was definitely cutting out at a rapid intervals during your stream. Like, not in a big way, not that you, not so that you can understand what was um, happening, but it was definitely, like, stuttering. <clears throat> oh, you know what's that? Cool. You're already on top of it. Duras Ray is on top of it. On top of it. Chicken? <laughs> check my settings and do a test recording. Yeah, you have to test your uh, sound stuff, Drasri. Like I do. I'm so methodical. I am so methodical. Hey ho, Saint Sugar. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. I'm wandering aimlessly right now because I'm a bit lost because of the limited lighting factor and the... Uh, <laughs> Also, my own problems with finding my way out of a paper bag. I can't do it. I get lost so easily. And it's also because I'm trying to talk, you know, like when you're trying to talk and stuff, it's hard to pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, here we go, look. I can destroy something with this uh, cart in the darkness. Methodical. That's right, Spooky. You know it's Spooky. Oh, Spooky, put your link again in the chat room for Drasri to see. Put your link of uh, the Valkyria Chronicles image that you made. Uh, Spooky made a really funny, hilarious uh, Valkyria Chronicles image. Drasri, it was really, really cool. Open beta launch. <laughs> Game called Nosgoth is shut down for open beta, so you just lurk around different streams. Well, it's great to have you. Thank you. Oh, thanks for following me, Saint Sugar. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Cool, man. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the uh, Baby Swans. You're a Baby Swan. Baby Swans. Yeah, Baby Swans. I mean, be aware that I do tend to kill off my Baby Swans. I do tend to kill off my Baby Swans at various different intervals in various different games. But don't be too scared. Don't be too scared. Everyone's hell. <laughs> everyone. I don't need everyone, Drasri. Just one person will be enough. Thank you very much. I'm not that retarded. Use the oil to light the torch. There we go. See? Figured it out on my own. Swanee, light torches. Okay. That car's lag, yeah, Trivial, it's true. 
um, this lightning script and this shadow script does tend to cause quite a lot of lag in um, RPG Maker games. It happens quite a lot, but it's not too bad for me. I don't know what it's like for you guys, but it doesn't look too bad for me right now. It's kind of okay. Wait, where did that cart thing go? I think it came down because I have changed the tracks to make it go this way now. So I think if I push the cart again, it is going to go a different way. And we can maybe destroy another obstacle in the uh, dungeon. Oh wait, I'm trapped. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Lost. Trapped. No. <laughs> the lag, I mean. It's noticeable. At least there isn't battles in this area. Yeah, save, save, save. It's like 15 frames per second. Was oh, it really? That's quite bad. <clears throat> in case, oh, in case I get stuck. Okay, man. No problem, Madrasri. More like glorious five frames, like how I ran. Yeah, it's a shame because Cardiophobia also uses um, <laughs> puzzles and mazes, snore. How do you think it feels to be me, Angelo? How do you think I feel? I am so lost. More backstory. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Cardiophobia uses the same lighting script and a couple of different people have tried to play it, like Beale tried to play it and Spooky tried to play it, but I think they came across quite a lot of lag, like more lag than even I was having in that game. Oh, here we go, look. There we go, look. This is gonna happen now. It's gonna happen. Did it happen? Did it happen? Wait, did it happen? Oh, look, it's back. Okay, the cart has returned from its adventure with nothing to say for itself. You dumb cart. Go. I'll follow you this time. I'll follow you. Keep an eye on you. Huh? Cart, why you do this? Why you do this, cart? Why must you be so... stupid? Goes this way. And then gets stuck and disappears. Okay. So... You have to destroy that rock to enable the cart to progress down the track. So how do I do that, I wonder? Do I attack it with my uh, fists? Destroy it? Nope, can't destroy it. wonder. It's okay, I like dragons. It may involve dragons. Drastry Scroll has a problem with cat people. Explain cat people to him. Oh, look, here's another one, look. Here is another cart. Oh, well, there you go. That broke something. Demolition Swan. Demolition Man. And it still gets trapped there. Okay. So, in that case... Let's go down here now. Hey, Snowflakes. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for following, by the way. Thank you for the follow. Um, when I was not streaming, you followed me, so thank you so much. Is there a switch down here? Oh, yeah, there is. Look. We light this torch. Use the oil to light the torch. And then flip the switch. There we go. That's it. So let's see what that does in terms of the carts and where they go. And what they destroy in their path. The awesome destructive power of the carts. The mine carts are too, too strong in this game. Minecart. Minecraft. No. Push it, push it, follow it, follow it. Run. Run, bitch. Run. Gotta see where it goes. <laughs> follow that cart. It's like in those movies where they say, follow that cab. Follow that cart. Oh, this rock is such a bitch. This rock is the whole reason why this is not working. By the way, Hunting, prepare your eyes for Wonder and Games. I'm joining the MC Bacon Jam, so in two weeks another game will be out. Oh, cool, Indra. Yeah, I think Trivel was the one that told me about that Bacon Jam thing. It sounds really interesting, Indra. It sounds really, really interesting, and I hope you get paired up with someone who is on your wavelength and can take your, um, you can take your kind of style, because imagine if you got paired up with someone who, uh, like, was completely not on your kind of wavelength and was like, I don't want to work this way, that would be a real nightmare because you're so honest that I think it would be quite clash, quite clash there. Need to find another switch. Okay, find another switch. Okay. 
So good luck, Indra, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. As a result of your bacon jam. Bacon jam, yo. Let's try this cart again. Oh, you've already got your teammate. That's cool. And it is Casey from Heart Pumps Clay. Oh yeah, Heart Pumps Clay, cool. Uh, Lucky's from RMN. I actually got to go, but I'll... Okay, Snowflake, see you later, man. Thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by. And again, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. So, see you later, Snowflakes. Have an awesome day. Have a great day, man. Bye. So, wait, what happened? What is going on here, huh? If I flipped all the wrong switches and made this track go the wrong way. Hmm. Push it again. How do you destroy this rock? <laughs> I know attention span. Hello, attention span. Where are you? I've been looking for you, but I can't seem to find you. No attention span. Hunting attention span. Oh, there you go, look. Ray. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck here for hours. Because I don't know what to do. I'm <laughs> taking attention spawn. Minecarts can mystically teleport anywhere. Yes, they can, they can. Sure. So, with dragons as a major force in this world work out for you, and with the main villain being a dragon work as well. Dragons and RPGs, how cliche, squirrel. How cliche. I think you should stick with your spiders. Your spiders are far more original. Watch where the cart goes, pay attention to the track. That's what I'm doing though. I'm following it, look. I'm staying right behind its bum. Look at that craziness. <laughs> I know. I'm a minecart stalker. I'm stalking you, minecart. You're not going to get away from me. You must follow me and marry me. Okay, it goes through here. Oh, there's a switch here. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try that again, huh? Marry me, minecart. Marry me. Let's have babies. Minecart babies. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Spiders. Flip the switch at the top right. Ah! Top right. Okay, top, top, right. There we go. Switch. Try it one more time. I think I've got it. By Jove, he's got it. He is a genius. Wait, which one is it? This one. I like spiders, but when they're squished, and if they're not squished, they can get out of here. Minecart. No, minecart, you leave me behind. <laughs> minecart, you are not a good boyfriend for me. You abandon me. Leave me behind to get stuck here. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Same with most things. I think spiders are cool. I just don't want to be anywhere near them. Oh, no, I thought I got it. I thought I got it. Wait, what? Ah, oh, God, this is so annoying. What is this? <sighs> oh, 
Oh, look. Okay. Switch left, that last one. Where is it going? Where's it going? In this way. Oh, darn it. Oh. <laughs> I was going to run into me there. Someone is just blind. Yep, yep. Let the bitch calling begin now. Call me a bitch. I don't mind. You guys are all just mean and nasty people. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what's happening here? I don't get it. That's too hard for my swan brain, you guys. You gotta remember, I have just finished playing a very surreal game. Oh, Indra. I just finished playing a very strange game, Indra. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called um, Middens. It's called Middens, Indra, and you should probably check it out for your um, own live stream, because I think it would be kind of hilarious for you. And it was just a really strange game, and it kind of like made my head hurt, and it was very... I mean, it was kind of impressive at the same time, like the visuals and the artwork was impressive, but it was just kind of like, what is going on, you know? It's very kind of tiring to play. You've heard of it, you haven't played it. It's not really like the kind of game that you play though, as well. Like, there's no gameplay to it, like the battles are... Like, for the first part, they were like completely easy, and then they turned into like, nightmarishly hard battles. So, I don't know. This is where it's broken. Oh, this is the glitch, Strasray. Is this the glitch? It's glitched out. Okay. There's no such thing as leaving. Ah, good job, Trivel. <laughs> Trivel approves. Trivel approves of the uh, badly designed puzzles that don't even work. Yes, Trivel, I imagine you would. I imagine you would approve. Yeah, use that while I'll that torch. So am I trapped here then? I'm trapped. I can't even get past this dungeon. Oh no. But I have no backup backup game. I have no backup to my backup. Drasri, Drasri, you let me down, man. Because this game was supposed to be my, like, good game, or at least a good, solid, decent game that I could play in emergency. And you have let me down by making this glitchy dungeon to prevent me from playing it any further. Cool, I'll just get battles for 30 minutes. Yeah, but I couldn't even find battles, Spooky. I couldn't even get into battles. Because most of the little things that were moving around were not even enemies. They were just, you're fine, you can leave. Oh, I can leave. Alright, okay, cool. I can leave. Just take the boat north. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. Um, I think the puzzle is broken, Dan. I think the puzzle is broken. I think that's what Drasri said. That the puzzle is not working properly. So. Play Skrulls game. Fallen Fail Chronicles. Danny, please. It's glitched. Um, what's the saying? Yeah, Skrulls game is also a Chronicle game. It's Fallen Fail Chronicles. There's so much Chronicles. You're just in time, Kyako. You're just in time. You're not Kayako. Welcome back, Magas. Welcome back, Carl. Well, Kayako, not really. Is this an oasis thing here that I can visit? No. Ooh, random world map, random encounters. Scorpions. Again. Dude, don't waste my time. Scorpions. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Quick. Okay, what you call it? Uh, strong attack. School, you mean college or actual school? Yeah, at least you can see a little bit of the stream, Kyako. 
Yeah, I haven't seen you for ages, Kyako. How has it been? How have you been? Um, I guess I could heal on Quake. I noticed you were in Durasray's stream last night, Kyako. So you probably had a late night. Because you stayed up to watch Durasray's stream of your own game, Corruption of the Teacher. Which was cool to watch. I watched it this morning. Yeah, just tired, I imagine so. Oh, Drasre. Ooh. You kept her up all night, huh? Ooh, Drasre. That's uh, too much information. And not even possible, because Kyako doesn't... Kyako not into that, so... <laughs> I don't know how that worked. Silly monsters, is there anything for me? Okay, so... Let's look here. Yeah, Wink Wink, Raiden Aaron. Unfortunately, our innuendo doesn't quite work because I think A, Drasrate is married, so that's also a bummer. And B, Kyako, no, not really, uh, not really possible with Kyako, so. We, our innuendo has been thwarted, thwarted twice. Drasrate and Kyako, could you not just, like, do something smexy for us? Make it far more entertaining. Is Kyako married too? Kyako is in a relationship with a girl. Yes, there you go. Aha. Sailing on the sea. The wide open sea. You are proud of yourself, aren't you, Spooky? <laughs> Spooky's picture is pretty awesome. Spooky's picture, in fact, all of Spooky's pictures are really good. Just great, great pictures. Oh. Let me get off the boat. I feel seasick. I'm gonna puke my guts out. I need to get off this boat right now. Do you want me to puke you guys? Live on stream. Live vomiting. A vomit cast. It's a vomit cast, Joe. Not my guest. <laughs> uh, no, I have no shame. Me neither, Spooky. We are a perfect match. Perfect match. Love this ship music. No. <laughs> Why must you block me at every turn? I have to go all the way around. I don't think so. And Maga. Just Maga. Oh, really? Oh, wait, I can go off here. <laughs> there we go, Link. I figured it out. I figured it out, yo. Okay, cute little squirrel guy. It's Lord Squirrel. Oh, no way. Death to Naomi. Jeez, wait a second. We had better use our revive thing then, which is revive. Five. On Naomi. That's a lot of damage. 300 points of damage with one hit, so we had better do our um, block. Wait, no. Yeah, block thing first, and then do the taunt thing. Because I want him to have some defense first, and then I can use cure heal on him because he's going to taunt up and get their attention. So let's just use an item. Let's use a potion. I got, man, I got 20 potions. I got so many potions. This is a potion on Naomi. And then he can use taunt to get the uh, damage from everyone. And just FYI, this stream tile is still... Yeah, I better change that, Trivel. You're right. You're right, Trivel. Right, where is it? Hunting Swan, Alert Box. <laughs> Yummy Nikki. Yummy Nikki. Okay, dashboard. Um, so we'll just put backup RPG Maker game. I feel kind of bad for saying that, but it's just because you know it just wasn't it just wasn't good enough to play. You know, well not good enough, but um, 
not enjoyable enough, you know? Thing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good morning, Saber Wolf. How's it going, man? Difficulty spike, difficulty spike, right up your ass. Yeah, spike that right up my ass. Um, morning, morning. Hector was a good choice. Hector really was a good choice. Saber Wolf, you chose a really good character, so well done. He's pretty awesome. Only fire, does damage over time to all enemies. Uh, let's just use heal on you. And then let's use Quake. I wonder if Quake is going to affect the flying enemies. Maybe not. Better focus on one at a time. Let's focus on this Raven first and try and kill this Raven. Quite a lot of HP. Um, so let's do a battle. No, let's do a strong attack and then do stronger attack after that. Nina, please. Oh, Raiden Iron has got Nancy and Frisia in his team, in his army. Um, let's use Holy Lights on this guy. Oh no, I should have healed. Ah, oh, derp. It's a derp attack. No. Potion. 400, 1000. It's just one of these. 19 of them. Well, fans of chat, uh, Swan Squad. Swan Squad is the best squad. Swan Squad is the best squad. And I will hear nothing else about it. Yeah, these enemies are a lot more tough, for sure. A lot more tough enemies. Recruit Ramsey too. And I promise not to kill her. <laughs> can't make those promises. Reading Iron, you can't make those promises. Reading Iron, let me tell you guys why Reading Iron is totally lying to you guys. Reading Iron is relying on me to play the missions first. Like, I play them first and show him what they're all about, and I show him the best strategy to win the mission, and then he plays them after me. So, Reading Iron is just copying my style, copying my strategies, and so, you know, don't believe what he says, for sure. I don't balance. Nice. You suck, I am superior. Oh yeah, right, Raiden Iron. That's why you were messaging me on Steam. Messaging me on Steam and you're like, Oh, how do you get past chapter 13? How do you get past chapter 13? I can't get past it, it's so hard. And I was like, just watch my archive, man. Watch my archive. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so, what does that tell you, huh? What does that tell you? I'm secretly telling Swan how to win, so... Ice. So many viewers, Kibo. We played it once before, though. Yeah, like 10 years ago, reading Iron. Like 10 years ago. Not recently at all. So I had no more advantage than you, really. Spooky wants Catherine dead first. Yeah, Catherine, I think, Kako, after your terrible, terrible accuracy the other day, the other mission, I think we're all kind of hoping that Kiako is going to die next. Years don't miss much. Because you were missing way too much, Kiako, And I got kind of mad at you, because you were missing way too much. I tried like four times to hit that guy, and you were just missing, 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 missing. The secret to telling Swan how to not how not to win is actually telling him how to win. Oh god, Squizzle, that ball of text. <laughs> is there anything for me? Uh, okay, let's go down here and visit this like very impressive looking town. So do you think here? Oh my god. Run away. Run away! Wait, can I run? <gasps> uh oh. I need to pee too, I need to pee, okay. Time out, I need to pee. Battle Roar. Cleave. Adrenaline Rush. Increases the attack of user by medium amount of cost, that small amount of HP and TP. Does this do like a lot of healing? It's okay. It's really worth it though. Ah. Uh, God. Renew. Heals the target for a small amount over the next several several rounds. Okay. He 
heal on you. And I'm definitely going to put Taunt onto Corrin as soon as I can. Oh my god, you're out of MP. But right, I've got to use Magic Water on you. And then I've got to do... Wait a second, I've got to do... Block. God, <laughs> those magic missiles. Um, and then let's do... Wait, sleep! Yeah, sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh no, it's only one enemy. One enemy is not that, like, effective. Well, maybe it's kind of effective. Let's try sleep onto this birdie here. Birdie. Good, cool. And... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Potion on this... No, me, cat lady. Person. Taunt. Wind. Okay. Heal on you. Um, what do you call it? Arcane Bolt. Oh, <laughs> no. Out of roar. It's a piece of bad. Oh, okay, right. Let's do, um, Holy Fire, Holy Light. Orcs, Goblins, it's effective. What kind of races? you work with. Uh, Arcane Bolt. Stronger attack. Oh, ouchie. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Um, Renew. Strengths, weaknesses, enemies. Revive. Um, Arcane Bolt from the sky off, please. Good few. Oh, the wind is so powerful. Oh no, she's gone. Oh, these guys are full health as well. Okay, I need to go to the toilet, because otherwise I'm totally gonna die here. <laughs> I'll be back in like two minutes, you guys. I'll be back in two minutes. Um, just talk amongst yourselves, like you usually do. Oh. Better. <laughs> hey Grapfest Bowser, how's it going man? Welcome to the stream, nice to see you. Um, okay, let's kill these guys. First of all, we need to revive Naomi, because she's dead. Like a dead thing. I am... Oh, shit balls. We are in trouble. We have no more revives to revive anyone. That is not good. All, H all HP and MP, no, are fruits so that recovers 250 MP. Spam ice with, uh, <laughs> 19 of yours, I'm almost famous. <laughs> the hell are you talking about, Grab Pest Bowser? Uh, a 
suppose that is kind of good for Twitch though. It's kind of good. You forgot the golden rule of video games. Birds are jerks. And yeah, pretty much. All we need is sub mode. Yes, yeah, sub mode. Yes. That's what I'm living for right now is sub mode. But you got, you know, it's gonna come when it comes. So don't rush it, you guys. It'll come when it comes. Right. Secure potion. Me. Wait, what am I gonna do here? You said spam ice with spam ice with Darnell. Okay, spam ice with Darnell. So let's do. Should I do focus first, trust rate? Because focus increases my magic power a lot and critical chance for next turn. So maybe I should do focus first and then ice. Is that a good idea? Lols. <laughs> Save both. Yeah. My other races in the backstory. Have them all be killed off. Oh, harsh squirrel. Harsh. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, Angelo. Nah, I'll use a turn. Just kill the birds. I'll kill the birds first. Okay, kill the birds. It's good damage. I've got a lot of potions, so I should be able to keep everyone alive, I think. But we're going to have to be really careful with our healing and make sure we're healing up. Like, every single turn. Um, potions on you. Wait, no. I should use him to attack because he's doing the most damage. So let's use him to attack and let's use Corrin to heal with the potions. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, yeah. Use Corrin to heal with the potions. And use Daryl to spam his ice spell on this bird. And then once that bird dies, we should be okay to proceed normally with our uh, attacking. Corrin. The issue is, now you're pretty far from town. Oh no, I'm stranded. Drasseray, I'm stranded. In trouble. Swan is stranded and in trouble. Oh no. Everyone, this could be scary. You. Wow, that was close. I let my sword do the talking. Hype, yeah. Do party members revive after battle? I'm just gonna check that out, Kyako. And no is the answer to that, Kyako. They do not revive after your battle. So that's uh We're in a bit of trouble here. We're in a bit of trouble. Do you want ancient powerful beings or gods in this world? Gods being impossible to kill or even see directly, and ancient beings being like the first dragons or an ancient massive spy- Oh, no, again with the spiders, Skrull. What is your obsession with the spiders? What is your obsession with spiders? Enough with the spiders, okay? <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. You go with demigods. Heal, heal up before going onwards. I don't have any more revive things, so I can't revive... What you call it, Naomi? She's dead. Permanent. 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 Uh, these potions. And let's try. <laughs> now let's save first. This, this is gonna be really tough, you guys. This is gonna be really tough. Wait, okay, can I be like really cheap here? Can I be like a complete and utter scumbag? I think I can. Done it before. Um. And just like walk and save. <laughs> like walk one step, save. Walk one step, <laughs> save. And then if I get into a fight, I can just reload my uh, game. <laughs> no. This is way too hilarious. Nah, that's being that's taking it too far. That's taking it too far. I'm not that scared. I'm not that scared. Okay. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> maybe I should have kept up that strategy. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. It's getting bad now. It's getting bad. Arachnophobia. After a Skrill's boss fight with the spiders, you bet, you bet your ass I do have arachnophobia. <laughs> okay, alright, let's look here. Oh, I have to fight these guys. It's so bad. Ah, oh, it's so bad.
Wait, so I'm gonna use focus. Even though Jurassic told me not to. I am gonna use it because I want to. And because I do my own thing here. And let's use block on you. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And then let's use ice on this bird thing. See how much damage that does. 927, pretty good. But yeah, I think you're right, Dras. I think actually I think it's kind of a flaw in your programming for this battle system, Dras Ray. Because focus, like, if you were to compare the damage of two consecutive ice spells, which I think we're doing around about 630 damage each. So two consecutive ice spells would be 1260 damage and you compare that with a focus first and then an ice spell which is only doing 927 damage then the focus skill is completely useless because why would you even bother because you'd be better off just doing two ice spells so I think that's really a flaw of your battle system that you have not programmed focus to be powerful enough um, so that's what I've got to say to you Drasray, you bad Drasray you God. Make focus that yeah, good good idea, grab fest bezer, good idea. Or every turn to all party members, yeah. Or do it like SMT. Oh the abbreviations are back now. <laughs> the abbreviations have returned with a vengeance. Oh yes, abbreviations. We do love them. Damage. It's a lot of damage. Taunt. Um, let's try Ignite. Ignites the enemy, does damage over time. Are these like squirrel things? Are these Lord Squirrels? Are they weak to like fire or ice or something? Or lightning? Drasray? Or do they have no elemental weaknesses? Focus was made for Arcane Bolt primarily. It is guaranteed to crit, and that's the only ability he has that can crit. Okay, Drasray. Um, that's still kind of very limited use then for that skill, but it kind of makes more sense now that I know that. Um, stronger attack weight. What's my HP like? Oh god. So bad. Be saying? What should be saying? I want legendary weapons with not personality or wills of their own. That's now cobalt. Arcane bolt. Ooh, crit. Cool. Crit that critter. Stronger attack. And arcane bolt. There we go. Crit. Kill. Cool. We survived. We survived, guys. For like one step more. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about this game. I totally forgot, Drasray. This is the game with the terrible encounter rate. You programmed the encounter rate to be way too high in this game. I forgot. Oh, I hate you right now, Drasray. I hate you. Right. Can I like... Can I manipulate the step counter? Can I do like a Final Fantasy um, 7 speedrun strat where I can manipulate the step counter to avoid battles? I can like manipulate it by just jerking myself off. Like, no, I'm not jerking myself off. <laughs> down the battle, down the field screen. <laughs> oh god. That's a dirty mind. Too strong. Um. Do a oh <laughs> my game had breaking bugs which I patched out. And that's another thing, Drasray, that I would meant to say to you guys is that um, 
When I was watching your stream yesterday, Drastray, of Corruption of Atisha, I noticed that your Corruption of Atisha game um, freezed a couple of times or froze a couple of times. Uh, that never happened to me. Um, I never had any freezes or any kind of crashes in my playthrough of Corruption of Atisha. So I think it might have been your computer. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I never had any kind of crashes or anything in Corruption of Atisha. The only thing I did have that was a glitch and kind of a bug was the stupid fourth wall boss fight that used its ultimate skill twice in a row when it wasn't supposed to, um, which was a real bitch, but that's the only thing I had that was kind of a <clears throat> flaw in the programming or anything, so I just thought I would mention that for Keako to see whether it was um, actually a problem with her game or not, I don't know. <laughs> Type ears, what are you saying to me, my guest? What are you saying to me? Oh, escape! Look, I can't escape! Oh, no, I can't. Escape. Yay! Cool. Save. Your PC is pretty powerful. He's a duck. Oh, Digi, are you still here, Digi? Digi, are you still here? Show them the picture of me again, Digi. Show them my picture, Digi, if you're here. Dig. Are you here, Digi? I hope you're here. Because Digi has found a picture of me online. Which I don't know how it got out there, guys. I don't know how anyone found a picture of me because I keep myself to myself and I try not to show my face anywhere. But Digi has found a picture of me, so, uh, you know, it's a pretty good picture as well, so you might want to put it there again. It's one picture. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. Right, let's use our what you call it? Yeah, oh, did Captain Digi desert the team? Did Captain Digi desert us, Reading Iron? I'm gonna give him a whole lot of shit for that if he has later on on Steam. I'd be like, why did you leave? You're not allowed to leave once you come in this chat room. You're here until the end. <laughs> There's no leaving allowed. Okay, that's a joke. Obviously a joke. Um, right, what am I doing here? Battle Roar, Cleave, Taunt. <laughs> flee. Oh, yeah, Flee. Oops, forgot. It's flee. Go. Laptop nicknamed Scrapped Up <laughs> is six years old and has not. My laptop is like only a couple of years old, but I did accidentally break the spacebar off of it, so my spacebar is just like a, it's the actual button underneath the button. Like the button underneath the key thing. So. I need to get that fixed as soon as possible, but I just haven't gotten around to it because it still works, but yeah, it's not the best. Let's go in here first and rest. Dun, 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 dun. I like this music. What are these things? What are those things? Like, I don't know what they are. On the ground. Yeah guys, feel free to add me on Steam. Uh, my name on Steam is Hunting Swan as well, so you are welcome everyone to add me on Steam. Um, it should be easy to find me and add me on Steam. That'd be great. I'm on Twitter too. I'm on the Twitter. And I'm on YouTube as well. So, <laughs> you know, I'm like uh, a disease. I uh, get everywhere. Pretty much. Airborne. It's this clock here. Seashells. Well, hi, Death, Death Punk. Welcome to the stream, Death Punk. How's it going? Swan, you could have stopped at the dock there, but you chose to go the long way. Ah, oh, could I? Ah, oh, I could have probably. <laughs> that was dumb. That was really dumb. That was super, super dumb. I think I tried to get off here, though, didn't I? I tried to get off here. I tried my best to get off here, but I just couldn't get off. I couldn't get off here. Innuendo again. Hi there. Methinks you've never seen a one-eyed man before, eh? How did I lose it, you ask? Well, I suppose I don't have time for a story like that right now. Hello? Sell me your fruit and veg. Sell me your bananas. 
Otherwise, I will just steal them. I will steal your bananas right from... Oh, cool weather effects. That's really awesome, Drasri. Just randomly starting to rain. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed. Nice stuff, man. Get inside of the rain. I don't like to get wet. In your window. Port Dina Pub. <laughs> I'm broken. Oh, oops. I'm getting a Steam account now, even though I won't be using it for a while. Or it's Walking Among the Dead. The username is MagasMPR, Mother Steam, which is, is the Walking Among the Dead. I wonder when that girl is going to start singing again. She sounds like a goddess. This background chatter noise is really impressive. Draws as well. Have you noticed that the Brathian, Brathian soldiers have been a little more tense lately? No, I haven't. I haven't noticed that. Aaron the King has been, Drasri, been especially strict lately. I have friends who have fled Aramish. I'm going to message Digi and see if I can get him to show that picture again. I think I've got him on um... Oh, Fluffy Talus is away. Let's see if I can get him here and get him to send that message. Of that picture again. Too. Meow, here kitty kitty. How rude. Ahem, he could have called you a worse name. There are worse names for kitty that he could have called you. Um, I can't find you Kyako. Where are you Kyako? One or two more things to ask. Ask away. Ahem, I'm sorry, I was daydreaming about my cat at home. Such a good kitty. Sure you were, you perv. Don't look at me again. I was a smack you in the face. I'd like another round. You look a little young to be drinking, son. <laughs> okay. Why? This is the funny thing about RPGs. Whenever there's a bar in an RPG or a pub, they will never serve you. Or like, hardly ever they serve the main character. Like, you can ar hardly ever get a drink. Like, it must be so hard for people who are <laughs> alcoholics, you know, <laughs> in RPGs because you can never get a drink in an RPG. I suppose if you're an alcoholic, the best thing to do is get sucked into an RPG world because then you'll never get a drink again. <laughs> because they will never serve you. Swan's cure for alco alcoholism discovered. Ravin is a vocal android. Be evil. You hear me roar. <laughs> Wait, how do I get on that boat? You guys look funny. Hee <laughs> hee. He's not jumping in the air. Like a moron. I want to be the captain of a ship someday. Because main characters in RPGs are almost always children. Good point, Death Punk. Good point. It's true. Or at least, if they're not children, they are usually like teenagers like 16, 17 or whatever. So that's below the uh, drinking age limit in most countries. In Shin Megabi Tensai 1. Oh, this again. Alright, okay. Sorry, you guys. I have to pay attention here. Which means miss first. Bartenders will acknowledge that you're underage, but then they'll serve you anyway, Spooky. Is that true? That sounds pretty awesome. But then again, it is Japanese, like a very Japanese kind of uh, Shin Megami is like completely off the wall, kind of crazy gameplay and stuff, so it kind of makes sense. I'll finish your fan art later. Your fan art. Fan art. Okay, my gust, are you leaving or are you staying? What are you doing? Stay. Stay with us. I had a big urge there to sing that Shakespeare's sister song, Stay. You know the one, like, the one where, um, Probably none of you guys know that song because you're probably all way too young. But there's a Shakespeare's a Shakespeare's sister song called Stay. It's like very kind of like Stay. I had a real big urge to sing it there. But I'm not going to. 
Okay, Dan, see you later, man. Thanks for watching. Um, so we're thinking, how do I move these boxes into a proper position for navigating through the room? I'm mess on the screen again. Here is nothing. Wait, have I effed this up already? Have I effed this up already? I think I have. Out and in. Good choice, my Gastem. Good choice. But I'm not going to finish this fun art right now. Yeah. For some reason, people thought it was a good idea to send a child against the horde of orcs. That's a great idea. What are you talking about? That's a brilliant idea. I would have that idea too. Wait. Why are there 10,000 people on stream with the same goddamn name? Goddamn name. What are you talking about, Aaron? Who are you talking about? Are you trying to add Indra on, on, uh, on Steam? I know you love her, but no. Up. Is Indra still here as well? You still here, Indra? Up. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Like, up. What does that do? Nothing. This one here. Go in here. Stuck. Ah, oh, my head hurts. My head hurts. No probs, Indra. No probs. Keep working. I'm really excited, Indra. I'm really excited to see what you're going to make for um, bacon jam. I cannot wait. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Knowing you and um, I think you've got a good collab collaborator, a good companion for your project. So I think it's going to be really. A good, uh, a good project. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to see Indra's game. Um, move the bottom box. Spooky Mothman wasn't taken on Steam. Is she gonna save the world? Okay then. Apparently not. So I'm on Steam now. Oh, the bottom box over like three tiles or two. Uh, okay. So this bottom box goes one, two. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I thought this box was going to block the path of this other box here, Dressery. So that's why I didn't do that, but um, I get it now. Okay, right up here. One, two. Yeah. Yay! Cool. Ah, oh, is that all? 300G? Is there anything in this pot? Nothing. Okay. 300G, really? That took me ages. That took me ages. There is no Spooky Mothman. He's a figment of our imagination. He does not exist. Oh no, let's not let's not start let's not start being surreal again after the last game. The last game was enough surreal stuff for me. Wake up, bitch. Wake up, it's daytime. Get out of bed, you're so lazy. Ugh, I'm gonna murder you in your sleep. How'd you like that? Then you'll wake up, huh? Or I might molest you. <laughs> wake up, I wanna talk to you. Wake up! Ah, oh, you're so annoying. Mm. <laughs> Lol. The disappointment, yeah, disappointment is real. Disappointment is real. 300 gold isn't bad, but I would have been pissed if it was like 300 silver. Good one, Death Punk. Good one. And I can get here. Any items here? Mm. 
Nothing, huh? Nothing. Okay, well, this is a total waste of time. Wait, where's the end? <gasps> where's the end? Is this the end? Pub. It's the pub the end, too. Do, 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 do. That, you see that start of that song there? Just the start of it. It reminds me of another song. Um, when it starts up, I keep, I keep thinking it's gonna go. Do you guys get that too? Like, listen to it. Do you like hear that as well? Or is it just me? I don't know what the song's called, but there's like some kind of like instrumental music tune that goes like. But maybe it's just me. Yeah, I definitely think that every single time. So is this the inn as well? Oh, who's this girl here? I'm taking a break. Sing for me, sing a song. Sing Bang Bang into the room. Ariana Grande and JCJ. Bang Bang into the room. I'm gonna hear that right now, okay? Da, 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 da. Your screws on. No, we'll be dead forever. I know what. I, I totally can't find the inn. I can't find the inn. Like, I would have went from a panda to Rick James running outside and backhanding everyone in sight. <laughs> what are you talking about, death? What are you talking about? If you had hot daughters. Ah, oh, this chat room disgusts me. Every single last one of you disgusts me horribly. You're all vile. <laughs> Wait, where's the end? Ah, oh, where's the end? Drasray? Drasray? Saber Wolf? It's raining again. Wake up, I need this bed. I need to put Naomi in this bed instead of you. Dross, wait, where is the inn in this village? Where's the inn here? Oh, no problem, Dross. I'm just wondering where the inn is. Uh, just leave town? Yeah, but is there like an inn here to heal up anyone? Because she's still dead. She's still dead. And I'm scared I won't make it to the castle because the encounter rate is too high. No inn, okay. Well, that was a good exploration thing there. Fun. Oh, look at her, she's totally falling <laughs> on her side there. Okay, escape. Follow the path. Oh, Drasri, are you getting mad at me, Drasri? You're mad at me. Oh, cool leaf effect here. Ellen Dine. Okay, we need to get to the castle and talk to the Council of Ellen Dine. Okay, cool. Let's do that. I had a little bit too much to drink, called my wife some names, and now I'm here again. And, uh, oh, there's no monsters on the path. You could have told me that before, Jurassic. Tell me that before, why don't you? Um, but good to know. Good to know. Call my wife some names, and now I'm here again. What's a man to do? I don't know. I don't know. You're probably going to be heading for divorce, I would think, because... I imagine you said some pretty nasty stuff to your wife. Some pretty nasty stuff. I like the leaf effect, it's really nice. It's uh it's maybe a little bit too large. The leaves are maybe a little bit leaves are a little bit maybe a little too large, but it's nice. It's nice. You just leave on the side of the road and let the orcs nibble on her. Oh nibble? Nibble. If he lives in Illinois, he has no rights as a man. Luckily, he's in Ellendine right now. Good point, Grab Vest Bowser. Good point. He's your dog. I heard you like swans, so we put a swan in your room. <laughs> Why is Digi messaging me on Steam? Why is he not here in the chat room with 
the rest of us lunatics, the rest of us crazy, crazy people. A long time ago, we used to worship some spirit of water, but now we can't even remember her name anymore. I wonder if people still worship her. Give me your items. Okay. Ah, oh, these guys have nothing good in their rooms. And their things. <laughs> Aaron is like, um, trying to distract me. Distraction city. But I'm too strong. Oh, you're here, Digi. Cool. Don't ever leave again. Otherwise, you're in big trouble, mister. Big trouble. Pub ad in. This is more like it. Oh no. We have a derp. <laughs> we have a derp. <laughs> oh dear. You're walking on the spot here. There's no reason for this. This is a maze. Okay. <laughs> Grumble, grumble. So what if I'm lazy, crazy old lady? Grumble, grumble. Oh dear. Oh, woe is me. Uh, Drasri. It's not. Wo it's not like woe is me. Like woe, woe is me. It's like woe, W O E. Like woe, as in like sadness and despair and stuff. But it's not like woe, woe, woe is me. Um, yeah, W O E is me. Oh, whoops. My daughter has been so angry with me lately. Maybe some flowers would help. Me? Why me? You look like a nice young man. Do this for me. I'll make it worth your time. Uh huh. Okay, so you want me to get some flowers and take them to your daughter? I didn't write that. Just saying. Just saying. I didn't write that. Do we believe him, chat room? Do we believe Drasre when he says he didn't write that? Terrible, terrible, big, huge spelling mistake. I'll tell you one thing, I bet Indra doesn't believe you. She loves Elise. You can find my daughter in Western Ellendine. She works at the fruit stand. Alright, as long as you make this worth my while, old man. You know what I'm saying? Quest journal has been updated. <laughs> it's me. Saberwolf is taking the bullet this time. Brave, brave Saberwolf. Best drinks in all of Theosia. Here you go. I first moved here ten years ago, I did not I did not regret that decision. It's a pretty cool place. Get out of here, mouse. 25G for one night, we can say yes. We need to heal up and revive Naomi. People can laugh at something and I won't know what it is until about ten seconds later. <laughs> it's tricky. I did sleep. Wow, they have like plasma TVs in their rooms, in their bedrooms. Oh no, that's the top of the. <laughs> oh, whoops. It's the top of the uh, beds. I thought it was like a plasma TV. I was like, wow, cool. Let's watch some movies. <laughs> oh dear, I think I'm losing my mind. I think I'm losing my mind. You found a potion. Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit delirious right now. Oh dear. Crazy. Wow, that background chatter is so funny. I definitely just heard someone say, What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Listen, you guys. Say it, come on, say it again. I wanna hear it. Oh, fine, don't say it then. Never mind. Let's move onwards. I heard it though. I heard it. Divorced guy in the making. 
gonna go get Ica and play some more Valkyria Chronicles maybe if the game doesn't move forward anymore. I should be moving the game forward pretty soon, Aaron, plot wise, so don't worry about that. I should be doing some more plot stuff. Wait a second. That's oh, the same building. Darn it. Look, ah, oh, Steam account. He's Hotmail. Hotmail. He's from Mario fan of them. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, Super Mario? Do you have me on mute today, or can you hear me? Because if not, if you can't hear me after chatting in the room, chat in the chat room, like hello. Oops. West Elendine. This is the posh part of the city. The West End. The west side of most towns are usually like the uh, high class areas. The West End, you know, West End of London. Like, usually it's the uh, posh part of town. But this place is not that posh. Another derp. My friend from Brathia is no longer allowed. Oh dear, Drasri. Was this you this time as well, Drasri? Uh, you could use the Hellwreath sword. Let's go. Cool. I'm mute. I'm thinking of using that for a story and I figured it would work well for you as well. Wait, that's a thing? West side, yo, in the west side. Uh, yeah, so, um, Drasri, was this you this time? This was you? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. So at least you know what I'm talking about. Uh, to come see me here, his parents tell him it's too dangerous, I don't get it. It's not grammar, that's spelling. But yeah, it's the same thing. Mistake city. Mistake city. angry, my face is just stuck this way. <laughs> just like Trivel. I hope my husband is enjoying his dinner. Sometimes... I just can't tell. Excuse me. I'll make him something better. I'm gonna cook him a better dinner. And he's gonna run away with me. How do you like that, bitch? I'm gonna cook him up something right now. Uh, what is my special dish? Um, find a potion. I'm gonna cook him like a really good pasta meal or something. <laughs> Run away with me. <laughs> I'm not angry, my face is just stuck this way. Well, I don't want you anyway. Okay. Any treasure here? Nothing. Okay, let's try and move the story forward now. Uh, for Aaron. So he doesn't get bored. Uh, quick everyone, spam some messages. Well, the Roman Empire is going to be like, yeah, we're going to crucify some orcs. In the backstory, humanity was almost destroyed the dragon, the god goddess of steel, forges the hell wreath and give it a great hero. That kind of thing. Wow, these leaves. I mean, it's kind of crazy because these leaves should be like falling on the ground and being all messy, but there's like no leaves on the ground. Yeah, I think that's true, Drasri. Um, I think it's quite a good idea that I just had, so yay for me. Like, when you've got this kind of leaf effect of the leaves falling across the screen, what I think might be quite a good idea is if you have some little um, clumps of leaves on the ground and kind of, you know, here and there just because otherwise it's a little bit kind of unrealistic I mean not that RPGs are ever realistic games, you know, but um, it's a little bit immersion breaking to have so many fallen leaves and to have no leaves on the ground so I think if you can find some kind of graphic or some kind of tile that is leaves on the ground I think that would really improve like the overall feel of the map, you know? Uh, so, I had a good idea. I had a good idea. Yay. That's why I'm the one who writes the stories. <laughs> Thank you, Duras. Just updated my phone software. Oh, eye patch. Is it stable and not glitching out? Back during the war between Elendine and Baratheia, I was a general. I'm the general around here. I'm the only general these guys ever need. General Swan. Only one. I'm so glad it ended in peace. You found 20... Oh, that's crap. It's really bad. <laughs> but I'll rob you anyway. <laughs> I'll steal your money anyway. Even though it is only 20G, I'll take it anyway. These kids are on steroids. The door is locked. And the door is locked. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, you guys, I'm in a really weird mood today. <laughs> or like, right now. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Everything is just cracking me up in a major way. My older brother and I were thinking about writing something like that iron with me at the helm. It'd be pretty... special. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm starting to lose it big time. Big, big time. I need to travel the whole continent. But with so many monsters these days, it's not safe for an old man like me anymore. I need an adult. Yes, I do, Kyako. I do. I do need an adult. Has there ever been a story with the chosen one chose not to do it and just stay at home that day out? Interesting point out. I don't think there's ever been a story that uh, is like that. I don't know if any of you guys are X-Men fans or comic book fans, but just recently I was reading up on X-Men lore and there's like a video of every X-Man who's ever been in the team and uh, there's been a new character introduced recently into the X-Men team called Forget Me Not, who's a special mutant power. Um, if you don't know about the X-Men, they all have like special powers like telepathy and uh, super strength and stuff. But one of the X-Men has just been introduced recently and it's called Forget Me Not and his special power is to be um, unable to be remembered. So no one can even remember he's there and so he's actually been on the X-Men team for like 10 years now and like his power has prevented him from being um, perceived by anyone like even the readers of the comic books. So I thought that was a really interesting kind of strange mechanic to have. I thought I would share it with you guys. I used to work in the Gomaya mines, but since that monster went crazy, I haven't been back and I left everything there. Yeah, I'm in kind of two minds about that, Digi. I'm not sure whether it's cool. Like, I'm not sure whether it's cool or whether it's kind of uh, just a bit kind of stupid. You know, because the thing about it is the character's powers shouldn't be affecting outside of the comic book. Like, so they should be like inside of the comic book. Like, if you can use telepathy inside the comic book universe, that's fine. But there's no reason for his power to be affecting the readers. Like, why can the readers not see that he's been here for 10 years? Like, that's kind of... No, it doesn't really work for me, you know? You're kind of cute. It's kind of cute, it's kind of cute. This is how Indra would say it, right, you guys? This is how Indra would say this. You're kind of cute, it's kind of cute, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Love art. Honey. Okay. Equipable. I've got to get dinner ready for my grandson and his little friend. Ooh, little friend. You can't hardly separate. Oh, Drasri. The spelling mistakes continue. You can't hardly separate the two of them. Let's try and move the story forward. Several negatives. Yeah, Indra has a smexy accent, uh huh. Pretty much. Pretty smexy. Wait, so where am I going? Kind of forgotten. Let's take a look at my journal or whatever. Quest, quest journal thing. Uh, about transformations and stuff like that, like evolving. I think her accent is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Uh, who is, what is gonna, what's a goma? Mount Ogre Trouble. Repair and rebuild. The village, okay, that's like a side quest thing. What is the main quest thing? Quest, quest, quest. Complete quests. Field quests? None. I'm too good. Synthesis. Shovel set. West. All quests. Discover the mountain ogre's hiding spot, defeat the mountain ogre, and restore functionality to the mountain. Oh, search Elendine for a lily. Deliver the lily to Tonya. Tonya. At the fruit stand. Okay. Search for them. Search the mountain. Okay, so I've got to find a lily. I've got to find a lily. Is it? You found a lily? <laughs> okay, that was really quick. So let's go and give this to Tonya. Not the fruit stand. This is the fruit stand, right? Oh no, no, Drasri, I didn't save. I did save, but like ages ago. 
Ah. Uh, oh dear. Oh wait, you guys can't even see this. Okay, you guys can't see this, but um, the Magic Chronicles has crashed, and the message is unable to find file graphics faces Ellen Dine NPC zero nine. Uh, is the message? Should we just type it in the chat for you, Dressery? Yeah, but this is Dressery. Remember, this is not the uh, patched version. This is the old version, Dressery. So. You might have fixed it, but I didn't download the uh, other version that you um, emailed me about. But it's Graphics Faces Ellen Dine NPC09. So. Game's crashed! Bummer! Bummer! Who else wants to be frenzy here? Because my user, The Walking Among the Dead. Yes, squirrel! Yes! I entertained you so much on this game as well. This game, of course, as well. Drafter's game. Entertained you so much that you forgot you had the Sims up. That is my whole like uh, job in life, Squirrel, or job in streaming, is to make you want to watch this stream, like all time. I will go and download the patch now, and I will try and figure out how to install that VL Gothic font for um, Harbingers of Woe as well, because I'm not. Do you guys know how to install that uh, font? Uh, gothic font. What's it called again? Let me just check. Because I'll have to go away and do that as well. Download. Harbingers of Woe. Harbingers? Harbingers. Harbingers. Harbingers of Woe. Game. It's called VL Gothic Font. Where do I get that from? How do I install it? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Drastic, right, you're fired from the army. Just click it, download it, and install. But click it from where though? Where do I get it from, Raging Iron? You gotta remember, you gotta remember, I don't know how to do all this sort of stuff. I don't know how to do all this technological stuff. Click it, download it, and install. Gothic font. But install it, it's always difficult installing fonts. Just go north from the inn. 